As for Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton, this much I can tell you. I view Randy Orton the same way the MMA pundits viewed Mark Hunt, that Mark Hunt was always one punch away from victory. I would dare suggest that anybody who thinks that this is just going to be Brock Lesnar hoisting up Randy Orton and throwing him all around the ring, if you take a look at Randy Orton's past accomplishments and also understand Randy Orton is coming back after almost, I don't know, how long, eight months, nine months, yeah, eight nine years? Months. Uh, he's not coming back just, you know, just, just to be used as a tomato can for Brock Lesnar. And no matter how you view who wins and loses in world wrestling entertainment, Randy Orton is one RKO away from victory at any moment, including against Brock Lesnar. And if Randy Orton were to face Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam and beat Brock Lesnar, then you have to realize that the mainstream media is going to then hype up Randy Orton because Brock has all the media attention on him right now. So if anybody thinks that they can call the outcome of this match, I can't call the outcome of this match yet because if it were my decision, is somebody interrupting me? <laughs> if, if you think I'm going to go easy on a heckler tonight, you have no idea who you fucking with. <laughs> but since you're raising your hand like a gentleman, give him a mic, ask a question. It better be a smart one, though. <laughs> when was the last time Les oh, hold, hold, hold on. We just yelled at the sound guy about reverb, and here's what you just did. <laughs> Like when was the last time Lesnar lost to one finishing move? What is what? You're saying that Lesnar's one RK away from a defeat? Right. When was the last time Lesnar lost to one finishing move? Boy, so wouldn't it be shocking if that happened? When was the last time The Undertaker lost at WrestleMania and everybody walked into WrestleMania? <laughs> so the same argument could be applied at, at, at all. Well, The Undertaker never lost at WrestleMania, so it's going to be... I know that The Undertaker's just going to beat Brock Lesnar. And then he didn't beat Brock Lesnar, did he? No, he didn't, Mr. Heyman. Oh, thank you very much for answering my question. So, uh, uh, I, I, I'm not done yet. But at uh, that WrestleMania, The Undertaker put two tombstones on Brock Lesnar. So when was the last time Brock Lesnar lost to one finishing move? Again, you see, you, you just blew over my question just to show the ignorance that you are displaying now in front of all these other people. So permit me to shine the light of my brilliance upon the darkness of your ignorance. Here's how you shock people. Yeah. Do, hold on, I'm not done. Hey, tell you what, talk. You're, you're saying that from any dominance that Brock has... Pull in the plug. I had to pull the plug. The answer to the same question that you're asking in multiple different ways is this. How do you shock people? Answer. Do something that hasn't been done before. Uh, that makes a lot of sense, Mr. Heyman. Thank you very much, sir. It's that simple. When has Brock Lesnar lost to one move? Never. Which is why, if it's going to happen, that's the way to beat Brock Lesnar. The same way at WrestleMania 30. When has The Undertaker lost at WrestleMania? Never. How did we shock people? Ready? Here it comes. We beat The Undertaker. It ain't brain surgery, and when it gets complicated is when every single one of you start to bitch, oh, it's too complicated. God, it's too convoluted. Oh, why are they mixing all these storylines together? It's real simple. Winner, loser. When you do it like that, when you just do a winner and a loser, and, and if it's never been done before, then that's the time to do it. That's how you shock people. That's how you make news.